Hey YouTube, this is Drunk Gunman. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make awesome looking videos for YouTube with any iPhone or the iPod 4 because it needs a camera. So first what we're gonna do is we need to go to the App Store, search iMovie, there's no space. and go down to intro designer light this is completely free install don't want you guys to see this password All right back here. Now that's how you're gonna make intros. There's only one good one but if you buy the full version there are many more. Go back to here, go to categories go down to where is it? Photo and video top free and Splice video editing. Hold on, I'll cut out the part where they're downloading. Alright, intro designer light has downloaded, so I'll show you guys how to make the cool looking intros. Dismiss the tutorial. Go to here. There are only two good ones that you could really use. This, these are what you get with the um the full version. But this is the only good one here that I like. You could also get this one. This one works with it too. The music sucks. I like that kind of music. These ones are like cards and whatnot. You gotta choose template. Title it whatever you want, so if you're not doing it right away, then you'll be able to know to export it. Change the first one here. And then go to the second one and change whatever you want that one to say. If you don't like the music or sound effects, you can turn them off there. Um, turn up, change the font, make the text bigger. I like to move the position down to the middle, then go to the second one, do almost the exact same thing. You're going to want to make them almost the exact same thing because what it does is, I like it to transfer it at like the same exact spots because it goes in and back out. And then once you're done with that, it's done, click export, click the highest one, and then It'll export it right to your camera roll for you. And this is what it will look like. And now we're going to take a quick video on this. Fuck. Alright. And then go to splice and let's go sideways. Get out of that. Press the plus button, whatever you want your project to be called. Make sure that it is in HD. Hold on. You guys can see that better now. Make sure this is in HD. The border none. Variation. Landscaping. Whatever you want any of the transitions to be. Alright, now. Fuck. I don't know what I just did here. Well, you guys. This one says video and photos. This one says transition. 
And the bottom one says title. You guys can't see it right now, though. Sure, use my location. I don't give a crap. Um, no, not that. Go to videos and photos. Your photo library. And choose videos. Or maybe not that. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's camera roll. Videos. To whichever one you used. And your intro. Yes, add your transition that you wanted. And you're going to want to click your intro first, then your video. Which I did not do, so I'm going to have to go and switch these two. Put transition back in between them. Now, here's some things that you can use. Go to here. Press that double box. It'll create two of the videos for you. Why you would want that, I don't know. And then you can go to here, which will crop your video for you. And you can pan it around. And if you use two fingers, which I don't, can't use really two fingers right now, you can zoom it in. Or if you go to Ken Burns, you can pan in and pan around and zoom it in and out whenever you want from start to end. So it'll be like, it'll start like way out and then end way zoomed in to the right. I can't show you guys because that video is completely, is completely black. So now I'd press done and project and it would do that. So go back to this and this little guy running, you can speed up your video or slow it down. You can slow it down up to 0.2 or speed it up to two times faster. And then right here you can trim the video to help if there's any parts that you don't want to be in the video. I'll just trim it from there to there and I press done. I'd press that play button to preview them before I press done. And if you get into it like that and you want to, didn't want to do it, just kind of slide it over. I can't do that right now for some reason though. But, well, you're supposed to be able to just pan it over to get out of that. But then if you want little credits, click on title, type your thing in here. And then, I'm trying to get so you guys can see it. And you can't see it that well. And then, after that, if you want it to be, like, you want it to be the return button on a keyboard to go down one, you would press, you would just keep pressing space. And then after you get really far, just type in something else. And it will automatically do it down for you. And you can create the duration to 10 seconds long, or down to 1 second long. Then, I forgot to show you, you could also pan around the words if you wanted. And if you want a transition there, click that, transition, edit, choose which type you want. There's a couple different ones. The best one that I think is crossfade, because it just kind of blends right in. And just obviously the trash button to delete it. And if you want to add some music, you can add music from your library or the two that they provided. And you could do like... You could be having, like, music playing from right here. Let's see. This isn't my iPod, so I don't know what it's going to have. Um, sure, California Girls. Put California Girls in there. And then, I, in the middle of the song, if I click on the second one, go to Splice Library, Sound Effects. I could do a little sound effect, and then you could preview them by pressing that play button for it. And then, if I do this one, I, it would just, it's like you speak into it for however long you want, and then it would like, it would just go over all that, and then once you're done with that, just click preview, export, hi, and I'll cut through this because this takes a little bit. The video is done, and it should show this complete, it's now in your camera roll. If it, if it says it's failed to complete, that means your storage is full. And you might want to delete some of your apps and music and, you know, stuff to make room for it. Then I would go to photos, my camera roll, the video. This is how it is going to look.
that's a pretty shitty video. Oh, my brother, so he's going to hate me for doing this, but... Then, once that's done, you go to send it to YouTube. HD. Oh, first, you can't really see it that well on this one. Hold on one sec. I know I can fix this one. God damn. Send to YouTube. Yeah, there we go. Click HD. Title. Whatever you want to name it. Your description. Let's do this just so we don't won't hate me. Rate. Of course, the usual in the description. Rate. Comment. Subscribe. And favorite. Not too many people put and favorite in there. Or even just like favorite. I like never see that. And then your tag. Whatever you're going to name it. Space will automatically make it a new tag. And whatever you want it to be in. Public, most of the time, is what you're going to want to do. And you just click publish. And it will show it down there. Preparing video. Then after it's done preparing the video. It'll show an estimation of how long it's going to take. It'll say, like right now, publishing to YouTube about however long. My videos are usually like, take about 10, 8 minutes to publish. Once it's done, it will show the name of your video published view on YouTube it'll go to your videos and you usually have to wait a second to go for it to actually be uploaded now I'll cut this part to when it is uploaded and show you guys how it looks his video is done loading, so then click on it, and this is your outcome. I know it's an awesome video. The name of this video, if you want to watch it, is Touch Gree. There will be a link in the description. His username is akrocker777. It's the only video he has. Alright. Now, if you guys, this is also an extra tip. If you don't have an actual, um, like, stand for your phone or anything here's just like something you could do just stack things on top of each other like I have right here I can't see it that well I have an ottoman standing up right here and there's a pillow right there and I just kind of set my iPhone right here facing my screen where I have my Sonic game paused right now Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and favorite. Thanks. See ya.